Hello everyone, Alex Rules do the seven here, back for another Minecraft video on the Mochar server. Today I am hollowing out a new railway section. But don't worry, I'm not this is not what this video is going to be. We are going to finish Rules Tower. And what I mean by finish is we're going to put all the windows in place and all of the wood floors in place. In the next few episodes, I'm planning on actually building the floors themselves, like each specific floor, to what they're supposed to going to be. I'm going to start from the top, bottom, what, what, that makes any sense. I'm going to start from the top and go down as I do it, because the top is more important, more VIP people, and the bottom is more people can wait, except for the third floor, and I think the fourth, which is going to be shops public shops but th that is not going to take long we're literally probably just going to put posts but also hopefully we can work we can work on the parking lot and possibly the subway station a little bit so we're going to instantly start with the actual rules tower itself and here we go The tower is finally complete. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying like that. Anyway, I have put in all of the floors, all of the windows, and it is complete. And I've been working on the parking lot. But anyway, you can see that uh, Holden's floor definitely sticks out there. Though we're technically not done. Um, there's one more floor that I have to do which is the ceiling of the last uh, floor which we don't have to we're not going to do in this episode because the very top floor is going to be my penthouse and it doesn't matter so got some windows to fix apparently I'm standing on top of um Holden's skeleton which was a total complete um worth it it was really worth it and it does not take up any space in spawn town whatsoever <laughs> um we got to do the roof as well there's no roof and i am planning on having an antenna and also on the side like up there a satellite and a helipad which we will not get to in this episode but instead crap if i can fly yep instead i have something cool to show you it's sort of all right so 
the, there's two parking lots on each side here. This is the private VIP parking lot, and that's the public one. And the private VIP one, you enter your uh, your VIP card, and this will open for you, like this. And I'm gonna I'm gonna um, show you this redstone design in a second. And you have access to it here. And then you know there's gonna be, you know, it's not gonna be a switch. It's gonna be you know, a card reader that I'm gonna put in, and it's not gonna be the same for the other side. The other side's sewer is gonna be the same, but you you have to pay to get in since it's not like private or anything is public. No, I'm not. No, God, I'm hip hiccuping. No, it is not a cheapskate move. That's just how it works. We are gonna. We are. We are. Oh, oh, we are gonna try our best at making the elevator. I am confident we can do it. Especially, we're not gonna like full on spend twelve months on it, but. We're just going to come up with a nice simple design, it's going to work, and it should be all good. The only problem I have is the problem with the actual floor itself, uh, not being centered, but we'll, we'll, we'll fix that. So, for the remainder of this video, we are going to be working on the parking lot, which right here, we, um, like where it leads into the lobby area, and the subway station. And I'm going to talk about that for a second. I have not worked on the subway station whatsoever since the last time we did. And I, I got to like add a lot more powered rails. But I'm planning on having a smaller project over like about 100 blocks south. And there's going to be like a little thing over there. And instead of having its own, it's going to have like its own subway thing like I've been doing with the rest. But... It's going to start in here, so we're actually going to have this same thing copied over here. This is going to have a train in it, like, coming out, which is going to look cool, which I was talking about. And this is going to be, like, going over it. This, I'm going to I'm gonna put a hole here, too, and it's going to be just a dead end, though. Um, We're going to be working on that, and we're going to be working on the parking lot. But first, we've got to work on, like, an, a way to get in and out, and a paying thing, and stuff like that. So... Before I'm, I'm going to um, talk about this redstone thing I have here. So a while back in my redstone testing days, I did not know how to make a double piston extender. So I found one on probably Mumbo Jumbo's channel, and it, it it works. But the problem is to do what I wanted to do, it does not work. What I wanted to what what I wanted it to do is if I get a piston a block is let's say this is this is the wall here it, this is not how wide it is i think it's like it. let's say this is like the entrance i want the block to come out two on each side but like if this design the piston comes back so there would still be a gap here so i want the piston to still be extended out here and that i could not find on the internet so i use my super super smart brain powers and i created one and it used to be I tried my best to compact it. I tried my best to make it look good. This I'm not saying this looks good, and and there I did have some problems with making it look good. Whoa, but you know it goes out fully extended, and this is you know the walkway, and then here it is too, not the walkway. And when we retract it, it pulls it. And I I when I designed this, what I what I did was all right. I'm gonna have this power to push, and this needs to be powered like that. And then this right here was pretty much dumb luck. What I what I did was I'm like, okay, let's put a repeater in it, and I set it to different ticks, and it worked. But I had it like the redstone all over the place, and this is how compact I could make it. Only one, there is one small problem, and I had it like come out here and stuff, and it I can do that, but. The wall has is going to be here. Let's see if I'm going if Fate Rules Tower is right here. The wall had to be right here. So that caused a bit of problems and also I can't I couldn't show any redstone on this side cuz this is the wall of the parking garage. So it, it caused some problems. But what I did was I th um I can't remember what I did on the Motrar server. I did I did some stuff going under here and I did like a redstone torch thing as you um can see I'll, I'm going to show you in a second. And it all worked well. So basically, the actual thing is right here. Yeah, welcome to the tower. And the redstone would have been here. So instead, I had these redstone torches here. And there's 
um, redstone underneath here. I made it all over the place, and I ran a redstone line under these stairs and copied the exact same thing over here. And that's my end product. And yes, these redstone torches do show, and when it's extended, you do see the piston and you know stuff like this. It kind of looks a bit wonky, but there's some sacrifice you have to make. This is the best I could make it where it look. And I hope that schematic you saw is enough to um, show you what it is. And even though it looks kind of silly like this, and you can tell that it's exposed, I try to expose the least of it. You cannot get through it, no matter how you try it, as long as you don't break it. it is, now, it is a gate. It is breakable. Anyone can break it, but we're all friends here. We're, we're all Motrev servers. I expect people not to do that, even though I'm adding the gate anyway. I don't want people to get confused is pretty much why I'm building this. So anyway... We should work on the actual parking garage themselves. I did add these walls, and this, I, I mean, I don't know, remember the last time I went to a parking garage with a wood roof, but this is actually the floor of the lobby, so I really can't change it. So, yeah, we're just going to have to work with this. What I plan on doing is for these parking garages, have, like, little tunnels coming out and have, like, this giant room right here with, like, a kind of mini kind of lobby where um, you pay you like you do your payments to get up here uh, same with here the subway would probably come up here because of the two subways I'm having and it would, it would, all, it would all be good um one slight issue first of all not a, it's not that I didn't finish this yet um I don't have really a great design in mind so we're pretty much just winging it like we do it all the time um so we're, I guess we're going to try to get to work. I don't have a long time to work. In fact, I probably only have an hour and a half. So we're going to see how much we can get done. So let's go. Okay. The second one is all done. And you, what, I got rid of the stairs out of this thing, which I'm going to get to in a second. And added the second line. No, there's no line in it just yet. And it looks completely different, especially since I did that in the back. Um... And, you know, this is the normal way over here. And this is going to be the dead end. This is going to be the actual one that's going over. This is going to be where the train is. And there has to be some sort of bridge to jump over. Oh, not jump over. Get over because you don't want to jump every single time. I add these stairs, which leads up to the little area here where, you know, you to get up to the lobby. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm not gonna waste time taking out this I'm just gonna place stone brick along here I don't know why this crap is here just along here and not only save some brick but save a lot of time too except for over here because I already have the stairway in place so we are gonna take out this part and it should be okay it should be good we'll do some redstone stuff have like a little back for the redstone because we can't go underneath so we're probably going to have like a wall to put it behind, which sound, which is okay. I'm going to try my best, so here we go. Progress update. Everything's looking smooth for now. I didn't do too much up here, you know, do the walls. Um, I added this temporary thing, which is, like I said, temporary. And public parking. Private parking. <laughs> um... This is open, this turns to night, so I am going to go to sleep, but as you may or may not notice, the display looks a bit different and the game is running a lot smoother. That is because right now I am currently recording on my new PC with my graphics card, and for proof, you can look at GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, and we're running at 60 frames a second. Um, Alright. So, the, the, there's a problem. Oh, yeah, also, hold on. Down here, um, I built this little train coming out. It looks pretty decent. Um, is my brightness, like, all the way down or something? No, it's bright. Jeez. Um, but we, ha we have uh, a, little, a little train subway coming out of here. And I used wool. I went out and got some wool, and it looks okay. I would like to change this to a bit nicer color for but for now we're stuck with it and it looks okay I wish I could have built it out a few more blocks but um <clears throat> the, there's there's a problem in that the game is only running 60 frames a second right now I have fraps 
recording 60 frames a second right now and when I'm not recording it's 60 frames I mean if we go to video settings I have max frame rate to unlimited so I don't know why this is I'm not complaining though because it's not moving too much and it looks pretty smooth so what are we going to be doing next um, I'm going to work on this lobby bit we're, we're, we're taking a break from rules tower for a bit um, for the rest of the video that is uh, I'm still gonna be working on it but it, it's about time so um what we're going to do is actually why did I get out um, <laughs> there remember I talked about I had this little plan and I'm gonna talk about it and you know just talk about it and see what you guys think Um, the tunnel th this is the tunnel right here that's leading to the second thing and I should probably pull out this. Yeah, I forgot about that. Man, I have a lot of stuff to import from my old computer. It's, um, let's see here. If we keep on going south this way, it will eventually hit it. We, we can follow this river, so let, let's do that real quick. Then we eventually get to here. Um, I kind of did some miscalculations a small bit. It, it's kind of right here. There's like a small little island here, and before I mention what it is, um, Basically, I, I re-logged because I had to go check what the coordinates were. Um, the tower is more like over there. This is around 500 blocks away from Spawn Town. Um, the tower is like over there. I had to re-log, but you are able to see the tower with the ma with 32 um, chunks. Um, what I want to do here, and it, like including this little island, and it's near the ocean. I know it's probably going to be called the Ocean um season for me it's not any for any use it's just for like pure fun but i want to build a little naval base here like sir like kind of have this small island for something i know this is a really thin river right here to really work with maybe we can like i don't know make that change that we got this little thing right here and we have this all area right here and maybe even over there but that's a bit far away just like a little small naval base, maybe like docks and ports and stuff like that. It's just for fun and like you can, you know, I'm not being a cheapskate. It's just for, it's for, it's for fun, really. Um, That is going to be next episode, though, because that is unfortunately the end of this video. Uh, I know it was a small bit short, but I always say that when I may think I make short videos and they end up being 40 minutes long. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to use this PC for a lot more than just Minecraft. In fact, right after this, I'm going to go record some scrap mechanic. And it should be good. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.